If you need unlimited domination, clutch time, or anything else online or offline grind, and make sure you hit up Rose NBA on Twitter for quick, safe, and reliable grinding services. Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Pink Diamond, Larry Johnson. This Pink Diamond, Larry Johnson, is a collector level reward for collecting 550 player cards in NBA 2K23, my team. And my boy TK is one of the first couple people in the world to have gotten this card. Has basically collected every single player card in the game. When you look at the cards in his account right now, I mean, he literally has everybody that you can buy, basically. So definitely been grinding a ton for this card. and Really do appreciate him letting me hop on his account to record this video. He also streams on Twitch. So make sure y'all go drop him a follow over there. Show him some love. He's a Twitch partner, really good dude, really good streamer. So make sure y'all go show him some love. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 7,000 subscriber mark on the channel. We're getting super close to that 7K mark. Hit it in the next day or two, and I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't, if you do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it and check out what Larry Johnson is looking like. So Larry Johnson, six foot seven at the power forward position or small forward position. He's a little bit short at power forward, only six seven. So I wouldn't say. I think his preferred position would probably be small forward, but he's going to be fine at power forward, honestly, as well, because he's got a good player build. Guys like Zion can play that power forward position as well at 6'7". 96 offense, 91 defense, coming with an 84 driving layup, 88 post fade, uh, 85 mid-range, 85 three-pointer, 85 driving dunk, 90 standing dunk, 90 ball handle, 79 block, 76 steal, 85 perimeter, 85 interior, so pretty solid defender, pretty solid rebounder as well with 86 speed and excel, 83 speed of ball, and an 85 lateral quickness. So basically every important stat on this card is in the 80s, um, which is super nice, or 90s. Uh, 85 driving and flashy dunk tendencies really really good and then his defensive tendencies are looking they're not great to be completely honest not a lot of cards have great defensive tendencies to this point in the year though that'll definitely improve throughout the year and then badge wise five hoffs include bully fast twitch fearless finisher posterizer and pogo stick some pretty good hoffs there also 22 golds include back down punisher drop stepper giant slayer limitless takeoff pro touch rise up catch and shoot corner specialist green machine bailout mismatch expert vice grip chase down artist post lockdown workhorse box out beast and rebound chaser eight silvers include slithery aerial wizard quick first step interceptor brick wall and then bronze anchor menace and pick dodger as well you can add a, a, upgrade all of his silver badges to gold all of his bronze badges to gold things like that and then you could also add some badges to him which it would include probably some shooting badges blinders and dead eye really aren't that good this year to be completely honest so maybe i'd go more like claymore limitless range um uh, maybe a clamp breaker handles today if you want to play make with him more killer combos potentially clamps definitely is a big one and glove as well so i'd probably go clamps glove limitless range and then maybe a couple more shooting badges or playmaking badges depending on what you want him to be able to do on the court for you Definitely excited to check out this Larry Johnson. I think he's going to be one of the better small forward power forward options in the game for sure. Interested to see how it compares to guys like Scottie Pippen, Blake Griffin, um, Zion Williamson, etc. I have the meter on and I do not want the meter on, but his release looks decent. I wouldn't say it looks amazing, but it doesn't look all, it doesn't look bad either. Let's change the release to early as well, the release timing. And um, okay, so that one was early. Okay, cool. So, or late, I should say. I got to find out his release, but that's smooth. Honestly, it's not bad at all. I feel like it's pretty easy to green. I missed the cut first couple, but it definitely seems like it's pretty consistently easy to green. I'm green it from pretty deep as well very consistently we're knocking down basically every shot as soon as i kind of figured out his release time he got the kobe escape as well which is a nice dribble stick for sure uh and overall i mean normal fade as well i like this card that normal fade he is just chick right now i'm greening every shot with larry johnson i'm liking this card a lot i'm a big fan of what it looks like he might be able to give you on the court as a pick and pop guy if you're running him at the four a shooter if you got him at the three in the corner things like that and then obviously he's a slasher as well gonna be super solid with an 85 driving dunk 90 standing dunk and when you look at the player build he's a big dude even at six seven has a big player build looks tall looks wide he's gonna just be a solid defender even if you're running with the four i think he's got enough size six seven with his defensive stats and badges where he's gonna be a super capable guy on that end as well so really really solid looking card all the way around i think he's gonna be a beast and i'm excited to use the cards let's hop into a game let's see what larry johnson can do hopping into the game let's see what we can get going with larry johnson on the offensive end of the court's first possession let's get a pick and fade going see if we can get him a decent look for a catch and shoot three-pointer that's a pretty good look that's a great look in fact and we green at first possession i like that using him as a pick and pop guy i have him at the three right now but even at the four if you're running him in that pick and pop i definitely think his release is pretty darn smooth and that's going to set you up for a lot of success as a uh, pick and pop shooter for sure good defense by vince as well love that defense get right up in him please good d that's good d okay we'll live with that he greened he greened a tough shot we will live with that every single possession uh let's see if we can back cut larry as well i was gonna throw that slip to him and i think i was about to have a dunk but that's a good foul i guess by my opponent because it wound up working out is he in a zone people who play zone annoy me especially in gameplays because like when i'm doing a gameplay it's harder to specifically score with one dude against the zone versus okay and i just got baited by the cpu i don't know maybe i just stink play some defense though he's gonna go baseline and he's just gonna go up Ah, rough start to the game oh well get the pick and pop going he's gonna be in the zone again i think oh maybe he's not in the zone i don't know maybe i'm just bugging uh he helps way off the corner that should be a baseline drive that's an easy dunk for blake and we retake the lead a little bit of a rough start but we're not doing too bad 
Let's get a pick and roll going in this possession with Larry. See if we can get him rolling to the rim. See if we can get a dunk or something like that. Hit the pop. Nothing is open. Actually, something is wide open. Larry, James Worthy in the corner. 4-3. And I smoke wide open with that release. That is bad. James Worthy's release is so good. That's the problem with playing against the zone in a gameplay, though, is you, you're pretty much limited in terms of the guys you can shoot with to the guys that are open. And people are going to be open against the zone, but I'm just limited. Um, I, I can't force the ball Larry Johnson, basically, which is kind of annoying, to be completely honest, because it's a Larry Johnson gameplay. I want to I want to be able to take advantage of him being on the court, uh, but it is what it is. Blake, you missed that layup, Blake? What is going on right now? We are really struggling to start off this game. That is definitely not what you like to see. Uh, he's gonna just going to go up and get another layup. Ugh, this game seems to reward some interesting things the rim running in this game is a little little bit od right now i feel like it's pretty frustrating to be completely honest but he's given up another wide open three and that's not a foul he just helped off i'm like frust flustered now i don't know thank you good board blake we finally got to stop on the defensive end of the court see if we can get our offense going now here hit it to larry beautiful larry pump fake okay he blows right by but we have to pass it back inside and we'll take the assist. Good good offense, getting a bucket, cutting the lead back down to three. The way this dude is playing defense is kind of annoying because it really is limiting me in terms of being able to get Larry Johnson the touches that I want to get him. But that's another good defensive possession. And that's another stop. James Worthy pushing the ball in transition. Larry Johnson cutting through the lane. Get behind him. Larry to the rim. Yes, sir. Larry, good cut right there. Getting to the rim and throwing down a dunk to give himself five points and an assist on the game and also cut the lead down to one. We're back in this game. Good. Okay, now he's starting to get flustered. I'm not the one flustered anymore. He's starting to force some shots that I don't know about larry johnson catch i probably could have shot that we're gonna go to the rim instead and larry you know that dunk animation is crazy he missed it but i will take that regardless any day of the week getting a dunk animation like that is super nice to see for sure can we play some defense though good no he greened a nine percent fading mid-range good shot by my opponent uh get the pick and pop going again come on larry good attack Let's go right to the rim. John Morant throwing down the dunk we will take that pop wasn't open we'll take our dunk easy bucket to cut it right back down to one Good board by Blake, or actually good board by Larry. I thought Blake was going to get that board, but Larry Johnson got the board. And we're back pushing the ball in transition, attacking the rim. Hit it right, right, right back inside. James Worthy for the dunk. Easy assist, 5-1-2. and two. Starting to fill up the stat sheet, and we finally take the lead as well, which is super, super nice to see. Play a little bit of defense. Cut off the baseline. Good D. We actually cut off the baseline beautifully, and we got another stop. My opponent is now forcing, not me. Throw it back over to Larry Johnson. Pump fake chill okay he's gonna give i messed up my dribble moves i should have just shot it to be completely honest good assist though why are you stepping in ja that's a wide open shot good oh my goodness he getting boards over ben Wallace. getting mashy yes sir look at him i'm telling y'all six seven but he's got the player build he is very capable even if you want to play him at the four win it whenever you do get this card i mean he's a very very viable option at either the three or the four and another amazing board you're seeing that gold rebound chaser go to work right now throw it back over to the corner that's a dot vince carter four three why can't I green? That's a great pass. Larry Johnson's playing great right now, though. I really like what I'm seeing. All right. Well, we're down three with 17 seconds left. Kind of choked the last couple possessions, and that is on me. John Morant, though, all the way to the rim. Are you going to finish? He's not going to finish it. All right. Well, that's basically game. It is what it is. Didn't get the offense quite going like I needed to in this game, but Larry Johnson played pretty well. I feel like he got a little bit unlucky with a couple of missed shots and things like that, and I missed a couple wide open shots as well. And I can't blame anybody but myself for missing those shots. So it is what it is. Larry Johnson still played really good in this game. Finished with seven points, three rebounds, two assists, three of five, and one on one from three. Just a solid all around performance. Let's hop back to the main menu and let's review the card. So Larry Johnson is a solid card. Uh, definitely just really good at the power forward or small forward position. Like wherever you want to play him, he's going to be capable. He rebounds at a high level. He's a good shooter. He's got a nice release, can slash, can defend. Just a really good all-around card. I think he's a super, super solid option. And he is free. The thing to remember, though, with, with him is that you have to co uh, collect 550 player cards, which is a lot of player cards. So uh, it's going to be a little bit, little while before most people can get this card. But if you're collecting cards from the token market, all the Series 1 players and things like that, uh, you're probably not going to be as far away from collector level as you may have been in past years if you weren't going for collector level right now he's at 551 cards but a lot of people are in the 400s and on cards it's just people who have been grinding the game have a lot of tokens and have been able to get a lot of cards so this larry johnson will be attainable for a lot more people pretty soon and i think he is a very very solid card in my team so hopefully y'all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace